Are you a good sport? Yes. Will easy fatalities be returning in Mortal Kombat 11? Yes. Necessary evil? Yes, I do think it is. How many total characters will there be in Mortal Kombat 11? 25 to start, 30 something to finish. Look, can we just save a lot of time here? No. Are you going to reveal a new character in this interview at any point? Subliminally, I will. Any hints of when it'll be coming up? In seven questions from now. Do you want to predict which character will win EVO this year? Yes, Shao Kahn. Who would you say is like the main character of Mortal Kombat 11? The main character of Mortal Kombat 11 is probably Liu Kang. Why do you say that? Because he's been since the first Mortal Kombat game. So Earthrealm, you gotta help me out. Does it encompass like the entire universe? No. Can Mars be Earthrealm? Yes, Mars is in Earthrealm. Can we leave our solar system and still technically be in Earthrealm? Yes, we can. So where's the limit there? There is no physical limit. Where did the name Bihan come from? I don't know. I didn't name him. Are there quick time events in Mortal Kombat 11's story? No, there's not. Why the change? Didn't have time to do them. Are there going to be alternate endings? Yes, there will be alternate endings. Okay, more than three. I can't mention that. Are we going to go to a new realm in this game? A new realm? No. Can you name every realm right now? Earthrealm, Netherrealm, Order Realm, Chaos Realm, Edenia. Uh, and there's probably one that I'm missing. Is there going to be a tournament at some point in the story mode? No, there's no tournament. Is it always tempting to throw a tournament in there? Not anymore. It was about the first 10 years. I don't get it. How did Johnny Cage end up at the first tournament and still be so confused about what was going on there? He got a scroll and they thought it was going to be for a movie and then it turned out to be something real and he's always the confused guy. Do Johnny Cage's fans know that he's killed just like dozens and dozens of people at this point? No, he, he keeps that to himself. How long will the movie cut be on YouTube of Mortal Kombat 11's story? If I had to guess, I would say two and a half hours. So around the same length as Mortal Kombat X? Yes, maybe, maybe a little longer. Why call this one 11? Because 11 comes after 10. Did you have discussions about other names? No. Oddly enough, we had uh, we always knew it was going to be called Mortal Kombat 11. It's, at some point, we were thinking about it like Final Fantasy games. I mean, with Final Fantasy, Mega Man, winning, are you worried about all the 11 competition out there? I'm most afraid of the iPhone 11. All right, zooming out, just Mortal Kombat in general, what's the story about, ultimately? The saving of Earthrealm by winning this tournament. Liu Kang ended up winning it, and after that, you know, 25 years of, you know, introducing new boss who was bigger than the last boss, and... Um, we, we're still doing that. But what is it about, Ed? It's about redemption. Oh, interesting. I randomly picked that word. <laughs> <laughs> Which characters in the Mortal Kombat universe could survive like a bullet right to the head? Every Mortal Kombat character can, it can survive a bullet to the head as we've seen in all of our fatalities when they get up and continue to fight. So but like story, them. like cutscene bullet is what I'm talking about. Just Raiden. Is there like one thing that's the most exciting thing for you that you can unlock in the crypt in Mortal Kombat 11? A chest full of money. It's always good. It's probably not that. Do you have a favorite skin in the game? Scorpion's classic skin. Do you have some skin in the game? I have all my skin in the game. Is Chronica a contraction of Chronicles and Narnia? No. Chronica was actually called Chronico or something like that. It was a male character up until just not too long ago when we decided to switch it to Chronica as a female character. Yeah. Why the switch? We thought it'd be cooler if she was female. So is the idea that Chronica is like bringing each item and piece of equipment from all the different timelines through time to the player? Chronica is not the one bringing them, but they we're, we're kind of playing on the concept of a multiverse with infinite uh, possibilities. So it's just like the time stream is getting all messed up and so all the gear is just scattered all around the world at this point? Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Do you think about this stuff a lot? <laughs> Is Chronica an elder god? No, Chronica is higher than an elder god. Are there other religions on Earth, or does everybody just worship the elder gods at this point? Does everybody know that they exist? No, not everybody knows they exist. And Raiden is just terrible at getting the word out. They're like, hey, there's actually some gods over here. Yeah, Raiden, he, he can show some incompetence at times. Would you get along with your younger self? Absolutely. What would you tell him? Don't spend so much time working. Do Fatal Blows run at 60 frames per second in this game? No, Fatal Blows run at 30. Why is that? So we can do cooler visuals the crazy Alembic blood and the cool lit and higher resolution models of the characters. Are you just craving next generation so you can make all that stuff run at 60? Yes, but the rest of the game will run at 120. I know you get this a lot, but why is combat spelled with a K? Because it looks different and it makes us seem uh, more unique. So does the word combat with a C exist within the Mortal Kombat universe? Yes, but everybody thinks of that as the wrong spelling. Have you really thought about this before? No, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> with Chronica and time, all that stuff's going on here. Is there a timeline where combat is spelled with a C? No, there will never be a timeline where combat is spelled with a C. Mortal with an N? Mortal with an N? No, no, I'm not sure how, how that would be pronounced. When was the last time you had a serious meeting about a Mortal Kombat movie? Oh, about five months ago. Really? What'd you learn? A script exists. How do you feel about that? In the right hands, I feel excited. Uh, in, the, um, in the wrong hands, I 
wanted to get killed. Did you personally get to choose what category to insult by interrupting at the Game Awards with the announcement of this game? No, I did not. That was a Jeff Keighley joint? It was. We were going to interrupt the family game, and then we thought that that was in poor taste. So there's no factions or clans returning in Mortal Kombat 11? No, we try to... Um, add new features, mix things up as much as possible with every Mortal Kombat game, so we don't want to repeat ourselves too much. Can you just officially make the call on which faction or clan won in Mortal Kombat X? Let's go with the Black Dragon. Really? Why is that? They'd probably cheat at the end of the day and end up winning. <laughs> would you ever bring back kart racing? I would love to bring back kart racing. I really thought that we could have, if we had worked on just that, we could have released it as its own uh, its own game, maybe, maybe its own mobile game or something. Okay, so when Scorpion says, get over here, why is it in a different voice? This is the first time I'm saying this. That was actually like a, a takeover from the last game that I was working on called High Impact Football, where we had a lot of the football players were, were yelling crazy, stupid things at the end. And we were still kind of in that mode. And I was one of the guys yelling in High Impact Football. So I was the guy to yell it in Scorpion. And that's how it ended up being. So even in the modern games, though, does is he channeling it from a different spot? Or why does it sound different now? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Is there a universe where Scorpion's from New York and he's like, hey, I'm getting over here. Probably. Are you worried that the roster for this game is going to leak once the game's out and everybody's playing it? The roster already leaked. What are the odds that Neo from The Matrix is going to be in this game at some point? 0.0. .0. And there's also a 0.0% .0 chance that mocap's ever coming back? There's a 0.0% .0 chance that mocap is coming back. There was a pretty close chance that Neo was going to be in Injustice 2, but that, that fell through. Would you ever consider adding a character from Rocksteady's next game into this one? Or is that just Yes, like we would. Uh, we're, we're, we're big fans and friends of Rocksteady. That wouldn't be like an Injustice thing that would go in Mortal Kombat? If they would allow it, I mean, they, if whatever, whatever they would give us would have to have its head split in two and all kinds of nasty things. So. What's your favorite phase of game development? Finishing. It's just getting your life back. Have you ever thought about making a Looney Tunes fighting game? We never thought of that, no. Could you just like look at this design doc real quick that I have drawn up here? Would you ever go back to 3D fighting in a Mortal Kombat game? I guess I'd never say never, but I... Uh, don't plan on it in the near future. What is the greatest work of art of all time? Uh, Mona Lisa. Is Punch-Out a fighting game? Yes, it is. So's uh, Fight Night. So's any boxing game. Are there going to be loot boxes in Mortal Kombat 11? No, there's not. Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever talked about making a Mortal Kombat MMO? I'm sure at some point somebody in the, in the studio talked about making a Mortal Kombat MMO. I never had that conversation, like, entertaining the idea. Is there any fatality you could do in real life? I hope not. We always try to, like, discourage anything that looks realistic, you know, just make it as beyond the realm of possibility as possible is, is our goal. Why don't more fatalities involve butt stuff? Because <laughs> um, the game wouldn't sell. This is better than that IGN rapid fire video you did, right? Is it? Did I do a rapid fire video? I don't think I did. Do you like Animal Crossing? I've never played Animal Crossing. Is there any super nice game that you like that people would be surprised by? Words with Friends. Do you remember when the president watched that montage of a bunch of violent video games? Which president? This president, just a couple oh, years no, ago. Oh, no, no, I don't remember that. Are you pissed that he didn't use a single Mortal Kombat clip in that montage? <sighs> yeah. What the f***? That's all you guys have been doing down here, and they don't include it. Look, I know video games don't cause violence. But do you ever think about like how many broken bones Mortal Kombat has caused in the real world? Yes, unfortunately, I've seen some videos like on YouTube of somebody doing something and they'll you know yell Mortal Kombat and then they end up getting hurt and then I feel guilty for like five minutes until I go to the next video. Anything you regret putting in a Mortal Kombat game? Yes, there are plenty of fatalities that I thought uh, did not belong in a Mortal Kombat game. What kind of stuff? Quan Chi's from Mortal Kombat 5 was ridiculous. I can't believe we shit the game with that. After every battle, do like doctors come in and try and perform CPR? No, no, the person's dead. So it's, it's not just it's like picking like up a severed head or anything? A mortician comes in and usually does his job. Anything you regret not putting in a Mortal Kombat game? You know, there have been some characters that we've wanted to have as guest characters that the, the deal fell through. If you came up with a new ninja, what color would it be? Pink. How much did you actually know about ninjas when you first created Mortal Kombat? I knew nothing about ninjas before Mortal Kombat. John Tobias was the, um, the kind of uh, Japanese mythology expert. How many people have told you that they've named their kids after Mortal Kombat characters? 0.0. Uh, .0. Really? Yes. They have to exist out there. I'm sure they do, but I've never met them. It's got to be, what, Raiden's got to be number one. I'm trying to think of the most common things. Maybe Katana. Noob. No. How many current employees at the studio worked on Mortal Kombat 1? Three. Dan Forden, John Vogel, and myself. Is it possible to make a new Mortal Kombat game based on real-life videos again? Yes, it's absolutely possible. Don't you want to see what that would look like? Yes, yes. We're, you know, there have been some started and stopped 
Mortal Kombat remaster projects that just never saw the light of day. How much would that take? I'm not convinced that it wouldn't be like a novelty that people would like for about a week and then kind of move on. But to like it for a week, they have to buy it. Yeah, exactly. A scale of 1 to 10, how badly do you want to make a new IP? 9.6. Okay, so here's $100 million and five years. What game do you make? Some kind of persistent online game that never stops. You said you wanted to work less. That was your advice to your younger self, and now you're signing up for the most difficult game to make. <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't be the only one working on it. What's appealing about that type of game to you? I don't know. There's something about persistence and like how we would deal with somebody, you know, turning off the game, going to sleep. You know, I'd, I'd love to have something where you have to hide, hide your body somewhere while you're not playing, and if somebody finds it, they can loot it or, or, or kill you or something like that. Just something where you're nervous to not play the game for too long. Okay, like a stressful Animal Crossing. Yeah, exactly. You should really play Animal Crossing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, do they have them? So not a fighting game? No, I think we've made enough uh, in terms of if we had our choice of anything, uh, we'd probably want to branch out a little bit. Has Mortal Kombat ever made you cry? No. Reaction for good review scores or anything? Nope. What's the longest stretch, do you think, since 1992 where you haven't thought about Mortal Kombat? A week. One week? Yeah, like on vacation or something like that. What other creators have been working on the same thing since 1992? I think Hideo Kojima started working on the first Metal Gear um, around you know the early 90s, yeah. uh, but he stopped. It's incomparable. Like, yeah. Weezer started in 92, I right. guess. <laughs> You're the Weezer of game development, Mr. Boone. <laughs> Are you ever just like, oh, you don't want to make another Smash Brothers? Boo-hoo, Sakurai. <laughs> I know uh, the, the challenges of making a game, so anybody who's kind of um, complaining about it, I, I'm more sympathize with than I, than I mock. This one time, the Jeopardy winner, Ken Jennings, he just tweeted out, Ronda Rousey, Scooby-Doo. Can you ever unhear that now? <sighs> yes, I'll probably forget about it once we leave this room. Shaolin Monks HD? Oh, I wish. I wish. That'd be awesome. You have enough oomph in the industry. Can't you just make a couple calls and make that happen? It'd be more than a couple calls, but I think it, it is a possibility. What would Shao Kahn think of being a pre-order bonus? He would, he would feel good. He'd feel like he's special and, and not everybody has access to him. That's all he wants, ultimately, is to feel yeah, special yeah, and acknowledged? That, that's all anybody really wants when you think about it. Does Scorpion ever use a spear for like non-combat scenarios? Yes. One to get things off a shelf that are, you know, out of reach and stuff like that comes in very handy. So can Jack still turn into a giant? No, that was, uh, he was stripped of that powers after Mortal Kombat 3. Was that acknowledged in the lore at some point? No, I just made that up. <laughs> Why doesn't Liu Kang just turn into a dragon at the start of the fight? That's a good question. Um, dragons aren't that nimble. I think he has to wait for his opponent to be dead so he can turn into him. He knows they're not going to run away, or at least dizzy, and then then take a bite out of them. Isn't it just kind of fun just to like sit back and watch Scorpion fight Sub-Zero? Not anymore. How badly do you want to make an arcade port of Mortal Kombat 11? I don't. You have to design a completely different game to do that. You can't do story mode in an arcade. Other than Mortal Kombat, what do you think is the greatest arcade game of all time? It has to be Tetris. Other than NetherRealm, what's your favorite fighting game studio of all time? Uh, it'd have to be Capcom. What did you think of Dragon Ball Fighters? I thought it was very cool. I had a hard time following the action sometimes. The effects were so big, but I had the same issue with Marvel vs. Capcom. And both those games did fine, so. Do you like Dragon Ball? I don't dislike it, but I guess I never got into it. All right, what is your favorite game of all time? Either Robotron, arcade game, or Millipede, arcade game. If you had to choose, Not though. Centipede, Millipede. Okay, there's one correct answer, Mr. Boone. You know what, I'm friends with Eugene Jarvis, so I'll say Robotron. That is the correct answer, yes. great job. In Mortal Kombat X, did you have to make Melina's death so f***ed up? No, we did not. Why did you do that? You know what, our story writers, they come up with some really screwed up situations and every once in a while we got to throw him a bone. When was the last time you were phased by something? Uh, probably the last time I was phased by something was Noob Saibot's uh, fatality in MK9 where a clone comes out and they rip the guy in half by uh, grabbing both of their legs and tearing them right down the middle. It's pretty disturbing. And what does it look like when you're phased by something? Yeesh. Did you get a chance to really look at that design doc for Looney Tunes yet? No, I didn't. You know what was really great? In Injustice 2, when you had that bat wing go up over the moon for the finisher, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, that was, I think Derek Kurtzik, one of our designers, came up with that one. You remember when Goro had that alien burst out of his chest in Ready Player One? Yes! We sent them the Goro model, so I knew he was going to be in it, but I didn't know where his uh, cameo was going to be. I thought that was cool. Do you ever wish that you could physically give birth to these characters? No, no, not at all. Are any of these questions new for you? I've answered all of them before. Were you rooting for Black Klansmen for Best Picture just because there's so many Ks in the title? I didn't think about it that way, but no, because I'd never seen the movie yet. Will any versions of Mortal Kombat 11 be censored? Not if we have anything to say about it. Do you not know yet, though? In order for a Mortal Kombat game to be censored, we would have to make a version 
that is censored. So the answer is no. Is the Switch version going to run at 30? No, the Switch version is going to run at 60. Ooh. Is that version looking okay? It's looking great. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's not like blurry backgrounds or anything no, weird no, like that? No, no, no. It, it's Mortal Kombat 11. What is the best restaurant in Chicago? Pizzeria Due. Do you remember the first time you ever heard of Game Informer? Yes. The only thing I remember about Game Informer, like, like just kind of from way back when, was like it was wider than other magazines. And their covers were cooler because they didn't have as much text overlapping it. Would you mind signing this issue of Game Informer so we can auction it off for Extra Life <laughs> Charity this year? Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Do you think that song from Black Knight 2000 would just work as our national anthem at this point? Absolutely. Dan Forden was one of the composers of that, and I thought that it was one of the coolest pinball songs, if not the coolest pinball song ever written. The bummer is there's covers online, but no one does the vocals right in those right, covers. Right. No, I need one solid metal cover, and it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Was there actually a guy named William? No. Oh, no. Harry Williams was the guy, Williams Electronics. Did you meet him? Uh, no, I think he was already dead when I joined the company. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Actually, it's not funny. I shouldn't say <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember doing this flip? What flip? Oh, yes, I remember that. Mortal Kombat 3. Have you ever had one conversation with Marvel about making a fighting game? Yes. What? When? Uh, I did. Um, but I probably shouldn't talk about it. Are you excited about that idea? <laughs> oh, God, yes. We would love to make... Uh, like a Marvel fighting game or Marvel versus DC, I think would be the coolest. I feel like it's a race between you and TT Games for getting that Marvel versus DC. I'm yeah, rooting for you yeah, guys. Yeah, that would, that would be cool. Will Mortal Kombat 11 have crossplay? Not at launch, and uh, we are definitely not against the idea. What is your best selling game of all time? Mortal Kombat X. We sold almost 11 million copies. Anything else you wanna talk about? Anything you wanna clear up? To your question about, about you know, where did Bihan came from? Oh you yeah. Know, like, we always felt like it was, you know, parallels with Star Wars, and so we always wanted people to be Han. Just, you spent the last 20 minutes thinking about <laughs> that. such a stretch. How are you feeling about Mortal Kombat 11 overall? Every day I feel better about it. I feel it will be a worthy successor to Mortal Kombat X. You like this? Ah!